In his first ever television interview, Ajit Jain, the head of the reinsurance business, who is also widely held as a successor to Buffett, spoke to us at length about a raft of issues, including Warren Buffett's management style and the culture at Berkshire Hathaway. He says Buffett is unique and there is no other place he would work at. Unlike uh, a lot of uh, executives, uh, he's very rational about uh, expectations. And more than rational, I think he's one of the few executives and bosses that I can think of who does a very good job in terms of distinguishing between outcome and decision-making before the event happened. Uh, the world, the way it works, they look at outcome, and you may have made a good decision, which ends up in a bad outcome and everyone comes down like a ton of bricks. By the same token, on the flip side, you might make a bad decision and end up with a good outcome and you get all the glory under the sun. Warren does an incredible job in terms of decoupling the two mm -hmm. and measuring and evaluating people and the people who work for him in terms of the quality of the decision that was made before you know the outcome. And, you know, in a sense, that makes it very easy to work for a human being who's rational, who you're very clear about uh, what, what is it that's important, and, and he sets very clear uh, guidelines in terms of expectations, in terms of you know, the ethics and how, how, behave, how business should be conducted. And pretty much within those very broad boundaries leaves you to manage the business as you think best. You know, um, Warren Buffett also a um, couple of years ago mentioned that he would like his son um, Howard to be at least non-executive vice chairman at um, Berkshire Hathaway in order to preserve the culture. What is that culture that he talks about? Firstly, uh, he's going to be the non-executive chairman. I think you said vice chairman. Um, non-executive chairman. I think the Berkshire has, Hathaway has, has its unique culture, which uh, is very different than some of the other entities. They, you know, different people have different ways, and they're consistent about their strategy. GE has a very successful culture, but it is very different than the culture we have. I think the key aspects of uh, our culture is the independent operating units tend to be separate standalone units without any kind of search for synergies across the operating units and the absence of bureaucracy and the ability of the individual executives who are running their respective businesses to, ha to feel like a true owner without getting sucked into the big company culture and to run the business in terms of what's in the best long-term interests of that particular business. Um, in some ways, it halfway spoiled you for any other business organization? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I, will, I cannot work with any other company in my life, which is fine, you know, I mean, I, I've enjoyed what I've done and I certainly don't want to take a step backwards. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.